This program is brought to you by the following proud sponsors. The National Electrical Contractors Association, Southern Sierra's chapter, providing power to America for over 100 years, and by the Inland Empire Labor Management Cooperation Committee, bringing labor and management together to help build this region's future, and by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Locals 440 and 477, supplying the skilled workforce, lighting the way to America's future. Welcome to Energy Independence. I'm your host, Sean Reynolds. On past shows, we've learned about solar energy and electrical charging stations, zero net energy buildings, and entire communities working to become more energy efficient. We've interviewed representatives from the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers about their highly successful apprenticeship program and the valuable role their organization plays in the community. Today, we'll hear from Shane Cox from Mike Cox Electric a National Electrical Contractor Association member. We'll get his views on these emerging technologies, the technicians who make it happen, and what it means to be a NECA contractor in today's demanding environment. Well, welcome to the show, Shane. Thank you. Thank you, John. Pleasure Great to be to here. Great to have you here. Great to be uh, here. Why don't you start off by telling us about Mike Cox Electric. Uh, I understand it's a three-generation business. Yes. So give us an overview of what you guys do there. Uh, Cox Electric was started in 1959 by my grandfather, Mark Cox. Uh, transferred over to my dad in 1994, and uh, I took the reins in 2014. <clears throat> we are a, a, a signatory contractor with the IBEW and have a partnership with NECA. And with that partnership, we uh, do competitive bid projects, uh, government works, mainly schools, police stations, fire stations. Uh, any kind of government projects like that. Uh, do a little bit of federal work as well. And Jane, where is Mike Cox uh, located? Uh, we're, we're located in San Bernardino. Uh, we service the entire Inland Empire area, uh, do a lot of the lower desert work as well as the high desert work. Uh, we try to keep our, our service area based in San Bernardino and Riverside counties. What are some of the jobs you're working on right now? Presently, we are working on a new school for Victor Elementary up in the high desert uh, in Victorville. And we have several projects going on in Moreno Valley, as well as one small project in uh, Corona. Mm. We are also doing a brand new elementary school for Fontana Unified over in Fontana. Shane, what are some of the things that these projects are asking for, the schools and the public projects? Apparently, you know, you're going in, you're pulling wire, you're putting in panels, you're doing everything that you need to do to get these schools up and running. But what are some of the new technologies they're asking for? So, yeah, we're, we're installing the electrical infrastructure, uh, as, as we always have for, for many years. Uh, but a lot of the new technology now is leaning towards LED lighting systems, uh, energy management systems that are being put in to help uh, get the efficiency out of your HVAC units, uh, lighting control systems that are helping to shut the, that lighting systems off in the event the room's not occupied. Those are systems that really help lessen the demand, the overall demand, and, and help the, the customer become more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of solar work go in in the last couple of years. We've seen it in residential and we've seen it in schools. Are, are you doing a lot of solar um, um, photovoltaic uh, panels and stuff for schools or no? You know, we, we did a few projects here within the last several years. I, I, I've seen the demand for school-based solar systems drop off a little bit, hmm. uh, but we definitely are seeing in the industry-wide, a lot of the solar plants are still going strong. Residential solar is definitely picked up. We don't personally install that, but I, I've noticed it in the industry that it is uh, picking up, and, and I think that those systems will be implemented in electrical grids here moving forward for quite some time. Now, going back to Mike Cox, back to your business, do you employ a, a large workforce, medium workforce? 
We're a smaller based contractor. We usually employ anywhere from 15 to maybe 25 people in the peak of, of the work year, depending on our workload. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we do quite a few school-based projects and we, we stay in that realm. So when your workforce expands, when you have a project that's a, that needs more workers, what do you do at that point? When, when we have a higher demand, we are signatory with the IBEW, so right. we're able to pull from that workforce um, as needed, and w we move employees in and out as needed based on our work demand mm -hmm. from the IBEW, mm -hmm. so we have a partnership with them that, that really works well. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. You are a NECA contractor, so tell us, ex what does that mean? Give us a little bit about what that means. Being a NECA contractor is a, is a huge advantage for us. We, it's almost like having hundreds of years of experience right at your fingertips. But we, we come together as an industry and NECA kind of just umbrellas all of that and provides access to training programs, not just for with the NJATC, but also training programs for that are business specific. You know, we, we have seminars and courses that, that help me train my personnel how to be more effective at, at their daily operations. Mm -hmm. It keeps me on top of the latest sure. technologies. It keeps me on top of uh, what our industry is doing at, at, on the political field. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a great advantage. So Shane, what does the customer, what does the Public Works Project get by hiring Mike Cox, a NECA, a NECA contractor? What do they get by that? Well, they get access to a, a workforce that they know is qualified, they know is trained, they're very confident in the fact that their job's going to get done uh, every bit of, of what it, it was intended to be, mm -hmm. and we're going to stand behind that work. We're mm -hmm. going to stand behind what we install and, and what we perform uh, as a NECA contractor, and with the IBEW standing by our side, we're going to be able to give them the quality workforce that they need and really give them the, the kind of product that they're looking for. In the future of, let's say, the IE and the Inland Empire, San Bernardino and the greater region, what kind of things do you see coming up? We talked about solar energy a little bit. Do you, uh, we've got a giant power plant out in the desert, the Ivanpah plant. Do you see more projects like that coming up in the future? Do you hear about that? I do. I, I think Southern California is a hotbed for green energy. I think the green energy projects are going to be around for some time. I think that right now there is a huge push for businesses and corporations to invest in green energy. And I, I think that it's going to, it's not going to go backwards. It's definitely going to go forwards. And I think it's, it's going to help our industry out tremendously. Do you see a, a worker pool? Do you see a shortage of workers coming up? I think that there's always a, a, a real concern and a challenge to, to maintain that workforce, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you start having some of the larger jobs like Ivanpah and, and you know, some of the other solar plants that, mm -hmm. that are coming out. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that the IBEW and the NJATC in cooperation with NECA are doing a wonderful job of, of organizing these people in and, and getting them trained and putting them out in the work field. So I, I think it's always going to be a challenge, but I think that we're meeting that challenge. And we talked about uh, new technologies, advanced lighting controls, and advanced HVAC controls. How is this new workforce, how is that affected by that? I think that that's definitely one of the strong points of being part of NECA and in cooperation with the IBEW is the continuing education is always there okay. to allow our workforce to be trained on the latest and greatest to keep that focus moving forward with the, with the technology as it progresses so that we're always on top of the, the latest technology out there. We're, we're familiar with it, we're installing it in, in accordance with how it's meant to be installed and, and ultimately I think that that's, that's really the key. Tell us a little bit about what, what you, how you see the future of Mike Cox Electric here in San Bernardino, here in the Inland Empire. Well, we're going to continue to service the area as we always have. Uh, we, we pride ourselves on, on that and we're going to keep bidding as many projects as we can that, that really fit in our realm and hopefully we're successful at it. Well, it was great having you on the show today, Shane. Thank you. Thank you. 
The future of energy efficiency continues to be redefined and upgraded at an ever-demanding pace, while an already complex infrastructure needs to be maintained and improved. No doubt it will take the effort of highly trained men and women to make it happen. We want to thank Shane Cox of Mike Cox Electric for taking the time to talk with us at Energy Independence and the National Electrical Contractors Association for their part in building a brighter future. For Energy Independence, I'm Sean Reynolds. Thanks for watching. The preceding program was brought to you by these proud sponsors. The National Electrical Contractors Association, Southern Sierra's chapter, providing power to America for over 100 years, and by the Inland Empire Labor Management Cooperation Committee, bringing labor and management together to help build this region's future, and by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Locals 440 and 477, supplying the skilled workforce lighting the way to America's future.